Imagine if you're playing Call of Duty and just as you're about to shoot your opponent, he disappears and shoots you in the back. You'd accuse the guy of cheating, right? Well, China did the exact same thing. But for real life warfare, this technology has the potential to revolutionize war strategy, military vehicles, and even foot soldiers. China has cracked the code to invisibility and it seems like they won't be sharing their blueprint with anyone else. Maybe because they don't want enemies to know their dark secrets. But before we reveal why this technology is so evil, let's see how it works. The Cloak of Invisibility is no longer a Harry Potter prop. It's actually real and it came directly from China. And no, I'm not talking about this video. That guy is clearly holding a green blanket with an empty shot they green screened later. You can even see how the man's hands disappear when he moves around. That video is fake, but this one isn't. It shows a scientist giving a speech about some invention with two assistants holding a square glass panel or something that looks like it. Because when these assistants flip the glass, the scientist's legs disappear. While the crowd was gasping, I was busy researching how this technology works. And it has something to do with a thing called lenticular grating. During a scientific event in October 2024, the infrared physicist and academician of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, Chun Jun Hao, said that everyone is interested in invisibility, from us humans to animals in nature. And now that quote unquote invisibility is becoming a reality. That's how Chu made his legs disappear during the event. The material they used is called lenticular grating and it allowed light to be refracted regularly. If you don't understand what that means, I don't blame you. I didn't either the first time I read it, but in simple terms, it just means that the material can smash that like button, just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, it means that the material can cut up your image into thin slithers. The lenticular grating material is made of thousands of rows of tiny cylindrical convex lenses. These smaller lenses are then arranged in a big cylindrical convex lens. Each of those lenses takes the object behind and turns it into a thin strip. And the thinner the lens, the thinner your reflection in them will be, which will make it appear as though you're not behind the material. This is why people were gasping when the assistants turned the glass panel over. But this technology could have a wide range of uses. For example, if we can build a piece of clothing with fabric that is the same as the air refractive index, we will have invisibility and you can move as much as you want without worrying that the material will give you away. It's so good that even infrared light can't see you. That's right, this beginner's exploration of invisibility escapes infrared monitoring as well as the human eye. But before this technology can be used on military vehicles and aircraft, they need to avoid detectability of any electromagnetic wave, which includes laser detection, something this device isn't good at avoiding. According to Chu, in the future, we can expect to have invisible objects like rooms and hearing aids, which will give us better privacy. Chu said, in the future, with the gradual maturity of technology and metamaterials, the invisibility fantasy in science fiction works will gradually come to reality. But this technology was being developed a few months back when Zhenjiang University unveiled its camouflaging drone. The mythological cape of concealment was finally made real when Zhenjiang University from China built an intelligent aero amphibious invisibility cloak. This piece of tech can work on sea, land, and even air. They published the discovery in the scientific journal called Advanced Photonics since the team built a drone cloaked in this invisible material. The drone blends together decision-making, execution, and perception in a state-of-the-art piece of technology. The reason an invisibility cloak is hard to build is because the cloak needs to change its color and appearance and blend with the environment every time the object underneath it moves. When you add algorithms and advanced metasurfaces into the mix, you get an invention that is almost impossible to build, but apparently not for China. Their scientists developed a neural network based on generation elimination and stochastic evolution learning. 
This is a new approach that allowed the meta services to adapt globally and change the appearance based on the surrounding terrain. The drone they cloaked with this invisibility material was able to change its appearance in three distinct environments, just like a chameleon. While that might sound impressive, this innovation was simply the beginning. The innovative technology laid the groundwork for what's to come in the field of material science and adaptive device development. Since then, Chinese scientists have come up with another revolutionary camouflage material that would bring us one step closer to the invisibility cloak. Not only that, but this revolutionary invention could bring us spray-on invisibility cloaks. This camo material has the strange ability to change its molecular structure to better blend into the background. And no, you don't wear this camo material while fishing. However, if there was a way to incorporate this material into everyday clothing, we could have invisible shorts, shirts, and jackets. This will make the wearer practically invisible to the naked eye. According to Wang Dong Sheng, the head researcher at China's University of Electronic Science and Technology, he said that applying this technology to clothing could make an individual effectively invisible. The way this material works is by using self-adaptive photochromism, but we'll just call it SAP for short. When the SAP material gets exposed to different wavelengths of light, then the molecules rearrange themselves, causing the substance to change its color and become, for better or worse, invisible. This change happens in under a minute, which might not be great for dynamic change in the background environment, but for stealthy waiting, it's perfect. Instead of an invisibility cloak, think of SAP materials as a synthetic chameleon, or better yet, a synthetic octopus that can change its shape and color at will. The invisible material is made with organic dyes and molecules, which are called donor acceptor Stenhouse adducts. When you expose these Stenhouse adducts to light, they change their chemical structure. The transmitted and reflected light in the background spontaneously shifts the pigment to make it seem invisible. When they were testing this black SAP solution, yes, it's in liquid form and its natural color is black in the dark, they decided to see how it would react in differently colored environments. So they placed the SAP solution inside several small see-through tubes. They later placed the tubes inside different colored containers, ranging from red, green, yellow, and black. After waiting a couple of minutes, they took out the tubes and realized they had all changed their color to match the inside of the box. But this first test was easy. Passing the second test was the real problem. For this one, they took the same small translucent tube and filled it with the SAP solution. Then, instead of placing the box inside a closed container, they exposed it to a cluster of plants in different colors. And in less than a minute, the SAP solution started to blend into the background, matching all the different colors in the background. It's like someone painted the SAP container in different colors. So, while we do have man-made invisibility systems, they need to be powered by external sources and rely on complex electronics to get them to work. And that's why stealth aircraft is so ridiculously expensive. However, that's not the case with SAP materials. These things can be easily applied to other materials, making them practically invisible. In other words, they can spray a thin layer of this SAP coating on top of many materials and use it everywhere. To develop the spray-on solution, the researchers experimented with polycaprolactone, which is a biodegradable polyester. They are hoping this will allow the SAP substance to transfer its cloaking power to solids with the push of a button. While the technology is still new, the possibilities for using it are endless. The SAP solution could be applied to architecture, the military, everyday clothes, and even anti-counterfeiting technology. However, before you start asking me where you can buy a bottle of this SAP solution, I would like to point out that the technology is still in development. Currently, the SAP solution can only support red, green, and yellow. Right now, they are working to add purple and blue into the mix before they can unlock its true, powerful capabilities.
Here's another video AI enthusiasts loved watching. This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence, one video at a time. 